Hey, today we're going to talk about how to clean a northern and get out all those Y bones. Here we go, How to Clean a Northern by Robert Tolin. Yes, something big. Like this way, you can see the top part of the Y bones, which runs to the top of the back. So you just on the top part of it, run your knife down, start in, and then turn your knife a little bit on its side as you follow the bone down. Just peel the meat back, and then run down the ladder line, opening it up, and then do the same thing. Go back up the bottom side of the bone, bridge, just carve out, so, that's, that's it, no waste, now this would be the proper way if you were going to transport it, Cross the border, leave a little skin on it like that, and identify it like that. But we're gonna cook the fish up later here. So we'll just take that tag off. How big does that have to be? It says an inch, but I like to leave like a three three inch piece just to it's way easier and then like I said it's it's easy to identify everybody can see it. So guess what we do well. Off of this one again. And you're feeling those bones all that time? I can, you can kind of feel them. I kind of know where they are. You go kind of into the bone, but you just, you just touch the bone a little bit so that you know what you're getting. It is easier if the fish are fresh. So if you're, if you let them sit too long, then they get, sometimes the fish gets mushy and it's a little harder to take that white over there. You can keep your live well running until you're ready to flay them. Some, some guys will throw a little ice in the, in the live well just 
to help keep it firm. Good eating. Nice job. Hey, I hope that video helps you with how to clean a northern, get those Y bones out. Save this for when you come back up to Canada, look it over, learn from it, and it'll make your uh, Canadian adventure a lot more fun. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you would, subscribe to the channel. That way you can stay up to date on everything that's happening. And remember, the only trip you'll regret taking is the one you don't.